Hello everybody! This is where we left in the last video about this ruined apartment diorama. And uh, now it's time to proceed with some of the details. And first of all I'm going to paint some of the wood planks. First a regular paint, acrylics, thin water and then some dry brushing. And I have a few planks here and also a shelf that I want to paint. And then also some paint inside the window frame. That way it will probably look more realistic. And it doesn't really matter if you put some paint where it's not supposed to be, like here outside the window frame. I dry some of it off here, but uh, I try to leave some of it on because it looks more dirty and that was exactly the look that I wanted to achieve. And in other spots here close to the ceiling I also paint a very thin black acrylic paint and then wipe most of it off, just leaving some shades of dirt and shades of miscoloring. The single shelf here is painted grey. And now to one of my favorite uh, parts of this process, the blood splatter on the wall. And uh, well, you can do this in different ways. I think this one is pretty good and funny. The color of the blood here is a bit more light than it should be, but when it dries, it becomes darker. Instead of painting the blood on the wall, I think this way makes it look more random, like it actually is a random blood splatter. But do whatever you like, I think this way is pretty good. Part of the painting process of the wood planks here is the dry brushing. I use grey or white to dry brush the planks. Again, there are different methods. This one is simple and it works. So use a stiff brush, wipe most of the paint off and then just go with light strokes with the painted area. The holes and the damage on the wall is also painted or dry brushed. First a black paint in the holes and then dry brushing. And when this part is done, I think it's time to put the planks, the shelves and the details on the wall. First I try to position the shelf and the planks where I want them to be and when I'm happy with the results 
it's just a matter of gluing them down. So I use white glue in this case and uh, you can wipe off any excess glue or you can make it stay again to have this very dirty look. And now it's nearly finished with all the details, blood, dirt, and I have connected the side wall just to see how it looks. I want to attach it permanently, but not by glue. I could have glued it so it was permanently attached. Instead, I decided to use nails. It keeps it in place, firm and solid, but if you don't like the side wall, you can remove it without having the trouble with glue. So now I think I want some final decoration on the walls. I have printed a few posters here, torn them up a bit, and again, I don't want to attach them permanently. I want to be able to remove them and put them back on. And this is how it finally looks with the floor pieces and the door and wall that I already had and the new section of the ruined apartment. As a final touch, I put a backdrop here in front of the window to make it look like a city or whatever you like outside. And a size reference to the sideshow Deadpool figure. Again, it's only your imagination that limits what you want to do. If you didn't want a city but a forest outside, well, put that instead. Or maybe take the diorama outside and take a few shots with natural light. For now, thanks a lot for watching this video and the other part as well. Leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more.